Hey, do you want to learn how to get free Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, or really, really cheap, like a fraction of what you probably currently pay? Do you want to figure out how to get some incredible software for pennies on the dollar? Sound like a sales pitch out of the trunk of a car? Well, it's not. We're actually going to break down how you do this, how this can increase your privacy, and also save you a bundle of money in the process on Operation Stream It. All right, so you've probably heard of VPNs, virtual, private, network. Everything seems to be virtual nowadays, but nothing is private. Well, not exactly. Now, VPNs are an encrypted tunnel that we've talked at length about here on Privacy X, because privacy is the right, it's right, it needs to be protected. We talk about this all the time. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up so you can be notified when we're putting out these videos all the time. We've got a lot of incredible topics that we break down to make sure you could live a ghost life, but also a normal life. Talking about ghost businesses, talking about how to disappear in plain sight, talking about how to live an incredible life and be anonymous, but also have it impact you and benefit you in more positive ways than you've probably ever imagined. That's what we do here on Privacy X. And today, we're going to be talking about how you can get this stuff for free or very little money. Now, I'm not going to quote very many exact prices because as you can imagine, I have no control over the companies that I'm going to be talking about. And so the prices are always going to change. So here's what you could do. You could check yourself. But also, we're going to be talking about VPNs and how you know I'm serious is I'm one of the four channels on all of YouTube that's going to talk about VPNs and there's no promotion code. So they must be good because I get paid exactly uh, seven billion plus three. Oh yeah, zero dollars. So clearly I'm a happy customer because I get nothing for recommending these promo codes and there is no links to any VPNs down below. So you're gonna have to go get them on your own, but it's gonna be worth your time. Now, first thing we're gonna get out of the way, what are the best VPNs? Well, best is a relative term because it's an encrypted tunnel. You got your ISP, your internet service provider. You've got you getting on the internet and there's an encrypted tunnel, right, between your machine and where you're going and can they track everything you do? Well, entry node, exit node, VPNs are not as secure as they'd have you think in fact VPNs was actually a corporate software tool that was developed a couple decades ago for corporations like in their intranet internal office communications and then like they do with a lot of corporate products they're like hey we got this really cool product can we repackage it and sell it commercially and clearly they could because when YouTube came around every five seconds there's an ad for a VPN that's an actual fact that I made up just now but the reality is being able to do this is not that hard. So let's go ahead and break this down piece by piece. First thing you need is a VPN. What VPN? Well, I'm a huge fan of Proton VPN. I'm a huge fan of private internet access, and I'm a huge fan of Nord VPN. Those three are the three I'm going to talk about today. Now, you can go to privacyxproject.com and check out my recommended list of VPNs and lots of other tools that would be helpful to you in my resources tab. So if you want to do that, you can, but you don't need to because I just gave you three right now. Happy customer, that's all I am. I'm not an affiliate for any of them. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just, I'm not. So that being the case, you sign up for a VPN and let's say you're gonna sign up for Netflix, right? Well, we sign up for Netflix here in America, how much is it? I really don't know. You tell me, you tell me how much it is because I have no idea. Well, let's say for example, it's 15 bucks. I don't know, seems like a round number. What you could do is turn on your VPN, check different countries. Now, before you start checking random countries willy-nilly, because that's a waste of your time, you can actually just Google promotions for a specific company. So you can, you can actually look up worldwide Netflix promotions, worldwide Amazon Prime promotions. And you can do this with virtually any software and virtually any, you know, it could be something like Adobe, right? Or it could be something like Amazon Prime, or it could be something like, uh, YouTube, YouTube premium just had a deal where it was like a dollar a month in India. I think it's like 12, I think I pay like 12 or $14 a month for YouTube. What is it? Is, is it red? No, it's premium. They changed the name like four times, but it, they, they're, they're paid YouTube thing where, you know, so I, I think I pay like 12 to 14 bucks a month, give or take. It's a buck a month. So what it costs in a year in India, it costs a month here in America, roughly. So you got a lot of deals like that. So what you would do is you would, you would Google the thing, you would figure out the deal you want. So let's say Netflix, you, you look at worldwide deals, you find out that 
a specific country, maybe it's uh, Japan or India or uh, Bangladesh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. There's so many different countries, so many different deals. You could sign up there. A couple things you need to know, okay? The first thing is, why do the countries do this? Well, that's pretty obvious. They do this because they want to grow. They're not struggling growing in America. A lot of these companies are founded in America. They've been around a long time. They got a big customer base and $12 is pretty reasonable in America. Other countries, they're trying to grow, so they're trying to give really good introductory rates. Whether or not this is morally okay is up to you. I'm just sharing this information with you because I get asked all the time. You got to decide if it's something you want to do or not want to do. People talk about, is it, is it, Legal or illegal, I think that's pretty obvious. You're, you're accepting an offer virtually where your machine is. Is your machine virtually in India? I guess so. It's the internet after all. But the reality is, you're gonna, I, I'm not going to tell you what's legal or not, but I think if you ask your lawyer that question, they're going to laugh. Because, I, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 think, uh, I think it's pretty obvious. We're not breaking any international crimes here. But you go ahead and talk to your lawyer and, and your accountant. I don't pretend to be one on the internet. And then the next thing you got to do is you sign up for the offer. Now, how do I sign up for these offers anonymously? The easiest way for you, if you're doing something low stakes like this, because this is really low stakes, use a dummy pseudo uh, email. If you're going to use a phone number, obviously, again, use a pseudo phone number, a dummy alias name, and then use privacy.com. Privacy.com is a good, and not to be confused with my website, PrivacyX, but privacy.com is where you can enter your information uh, and get burner cards, right? So let's say you, I'll use one of my business cards where I talk to you about how to get anonymous cards on this channel. I've talked about how to do crypto ones, anonymous cards, anonymous banking, how tough it is, and a couple of the loopholes we do have available. So check out all those videos. Uh, we, I think I've done like five or six of them. And those are some of the most important videos when it comes to finance. So you fully understand how this works. But once you decide what to do, I mean, realistically, privacy.com is going to give you enough anonymity for something so simple and so low stakes. And if you do what I do and you use a dummy card for privacy.com, then you, you literally have no trail. But even if you use your main debit card, we're talking about something so simple here, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but I would recommend using a dummy card like I talk about how to sign up for. That way you just have, you, you keep the practice of having no trace. And I think that's key. The next thing you gotta do is once you sign up, some of these sites mandate that you, so like let's say I signed up for Netflix in India. So I'd go to my VPN, I would turn on India, and then, the network would think I'm in India. So when I type in Netflix, my IP is gonna show up as India, so they're, gonna, they're not gonna give me the American offer, they're not gonna give me the offer for here in Las Vegas, they're gonna give me the offer for uh, India, wherever I'm pre pretending to be in India. Okay, cool. So then I sign up with privacyx.com, or <laughs> privacyx.com, of course, privacy.com, and then I'm good to go. But some sites mandate that you actually have to be in your home country to use it, other sites, if you're not in your home country for, I think it's like 90 to 120 days, they'll get suspicious uh, and, and it could cause some issues or some, some, it could cause them to like freeze the account and stuff like that. Again, you can always just cancel and open a new one tomorrow. That's the cool thing with privacy.com. They have no real information. They don't even have real credit card information. I'll use these cards. I'll pay for a specific amount of time, cancel the burner card, and then it's just like disappearing with a ninja ball, right? So you're set right there. And then a lot of them don't actually require that. So I sign up for my India account and then I'm a world traveler and then I could use it wherever I am. It depends on what software and what service. So just make sure you check that. So if you sign up and then you go back, you're like, hey, it's not working, it won't let me in. It, it might be because your VPN's not set to the country that you signed up. Now you might be thinking, well, Cody, if you sign up in India, do you just have to watch India programming on Amazon or on uh, Netflix or Hulu? Of course not. Of course not. You can go to the regular site and watch all of the content just like regular. Uh, you just might have to log in through that site. Uh, so literally no issue at all, right? Your main login site instead of the .com will be whatever it is for whatever country you're going into, whether it's software or whether it is streaming. And I'm just using software and streaming as an example. You really could branch this out with a lot of things. But a lot of people do that to get different deals. It is becoming more and more popular with VPNs and it's some VPNs actually sell that as a benefit. I think some of these companies get pretty mad when they do that because they don't really want you to know about that. There's not really anything they can do about it. It's not really, again, we're not gonna talk about legalities, but obviously it kind of goes without saying, but there's really not really anything they could do about it even if they wanted to and they really don't want to because it's a waste of their time. 
what are they going to do? Go after you for 25 bucks? No. And did you break the law? In the opinion of anybody with a pulse, I would argue, in my opinion, I mean, no, obviously not. You, you, you accepted an offer virtually on the internet. Now, again, I'm not going to talk about morals. Some people are like, oh, that's wrong. Then, then don't do it. But the only reason I'm making this video is because I get this question all the time and I know that a lot of people do that because they're getting tired of getting nickel and dimed from these companies. So they're like, hey, I'll just take advantage of their best offer. And it's historic for a lot of these big companies to get you locked into a deal and then give really good special offers that don't count for current customers. That's why a lot of the cable companies, TV companies, phone companies throughout the last several decades, people would just bounce back and forth because your current company would never offer you the, the cool premium that you see on TV every five minutes or that you see on the internet or that you hear on the radio or whatever, wherever you see it. And you're like, hey, I saw you have that deal. Can I get that? No, you're a loyal customer who's been paying your bills for years. So the hell with you, you're gonna pay $50 more. We're only giving this for two years to new customers. So then you have to cancel, go to the other guy who's offering a similar deal and you switch companies, right? It's just back and forth. Well, now this just allows you to kind of do the same thing and you could open up a new account as new offers pop up because again, these big companies are offering offers worldwide all the time. You can find the best offer and participate as opposed to just paying the highest premium because we live in the most expensive country in the world uh, based on nothing, right? It's just ridiculous. So yeah, I mean, is it possible? Yeah, it's actually possible. It's really easy and a lot of VPNs actually advertise that they think you should do that. Now, I'm not telling you you should. I'm not telling you you shouldn't. I'm just telling you what you could do and how you could set this up if you wanted to. Appreciate you checking out this video. Make sure you go all in in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video.